How's it going, my friends? Guess what I'm doing today? Yes. Yes, you are right. We are doing a horror try chapter part two because you guys loved the first one so much and I loved the first one so much, so why not do another one? Although, Insatiable season two just came out, so I could be watching that. Plus, I have a huge list of horror movies that I should be watching. But instead, I'm gonna read the first chapter of six or seven-ish books tonight instead of actually reading the books that I need to be reading, but this is way more fun, so why not? Okay, let's go through the list really quickly. I actually don't really know much about the synopsises. I just kind of like pulled them off my Goodreads shelves and they were available at the library. First one we're gonna start with is Kill Creek. This one I do know a little bit about because I read the synopsis and I was like super intrigued. And so I do kind of really wanna read this. Is my ponytail making me look weird right now? Like, I don't even know right now. If I look like a bum, it's fine. Okay, so this one is about this horror author that goes to this house along with three other horror authors. And this house is like haunted because I think they're all gonna like write a book about it or something like that. Um, but then things go awry, people die, pretty sure. I think that's what happens in every horror book. This one, Here There Are Monsters. This is a YA horror book. Gabby, I think, did a try chapter on this and she really, really liked it. I read the other book that I own by Amalinda in my other try chapter book and it, it was okay. It was fine. It wasn't anything spectacular. So we'll see how this one goes. I think this is about two sisters and one of the sisters ends up disappearing and then there's something creepy in her window. The next one we have is Adam by Ted Decker. This is a serial killer psychopathic book. Next one I have is The Invited. This is about a haunted house that these people move into and all the objects I think in the house are also haunted. You know, people die horror stories. The next one is A Head Full of Ghosts by Paul Tremblay. I loved The Cabin at the End of the World by Paul Tremblay. And so I really wanted to read more by him. This is an exorcist novel. Who doesn't like exorcisms? And then we have The Winter People. And this one, I don't know if I'm gonna like this one to be honest, because it's more of like historical fiction horror. It's in 1908 and this person was found dead. And then there's a younger sister who uh, finds the diary of the dead person, I think. I don't know. The synopsis is really confusing. So we'll see how this one goes. Let's stop chit-chatting. Let's read Kill Creek first. I will try and go in the exact order that I talked about these. So how do I do this? We're reading Kill Creek first because I feel like this is the one I'm most excited to read. The prologue I thought was interesting. It went through um, just like what this like manor house is and where it came from and then who lived in it before like whatever's happening in this book now. But then the first chapter was kind of really boring and just not written the way, like it was just written in a lot of detail. And I guess we're learning about the actual author, like the the one author that I guess is gonna be like the main character of this. So um, not really what I was in the mood for. Like I liked the prologue, but I didn't really like the first chapter. So, I'm not sure. I was actually going to put that in my like night marathon TBR, but now I really don't know. I don't know if I'm going to put it in. Next, we're going to do Here There Are Monsters. Okay, just fin or <laughs> just read the first chapter of Here There Are Monsters. This one actually is pretty good. It opens up right away with um, the parents and the one sister not being able to find the other sister. I think the parents had gone out on a date and the older sister was supposed to like watch the younger sister and she fell asleep and then she woke up and the sister was gone and they had to call the police and the police went searching and they've only come back with her boots. So I have no clue where she is, what's happening, but this one was actually pretty good. So 
I understand why like Gabby liked it. Um, all right, so next we're gonna read the first chapter of Adam and this one is like a stalker, serial killer, psychopath guy. <laughs> This book couldn't even read the first chapter because there was this whole first part that's literally like a newspaper article. I just couldn't do it. There's a lot of like police and detective type of things in here and I do not like reading any type of like crime thriller type of book. So this is definitely a no-go for me. If you like more of like a police detective like Ted Bundy type of thing then you actually would probably like this but this is definitely not for me. Next I'm going to do The Invited. So let's try this one out. <laughs> This one, I'm actually surprised. This is actually a good book. I really enjoy the writing style and it's really like fast paced. So the beginning of this book um, is a mother and daughter and the daughter comes running up to the mom and she's like, I did something really bad. And all of these like guys are coming after her or like, I guess they can see them across the field. Mom tells the daughter to go hide in the cellar. And when those people come in, um, they say that, I guess the daughter burnt down the schoolhouse with like all her kids in it. But the mom had had a vision that that was going to happen and she had told these people. She just didn't know that her daughter was the one that was going to do the burning down. So they are like calling her a witch and they end up hanging her. And so that's where <laughs> the story was. And yeah, I really liked it. The, the writing was like really easy to read, really fast paced. I actually really like this. So I'm definitely keeping this one on my TBR and... I feel like I would probably really like this book. Next up, we have A Head Full of Ghosts by Paul Tremblay. This is actually a pretty short book. I think it's only like maybe shy of 300 pages. We're gonna read a little bit of this one. Hopefully it's good because I really liked The Cabin at the End of the World. So I'm hoping that the writing style is the same. This chapter was extremely short. And I really don't know much about it except for this one person is, I guess, seeing like, I don't know what the correct term is, psychologist or psychiatrist. They're about to sit and talk, talk about, because the person was like, why don't you start by telling me about Marjorie and what she was like before everything happened? And then this person said, my Marjorie. And then I paused because I don't know how to explain to her that my older sister hasn't aged at all in 15 plus years and there never was a before everything happened. And that's where the first chapter ends. I actually, even though like the first chapter didn't really give me anything, like there wasn't much substance, I think I would definitely keep this on my TBR because I like how short it is, number one. And because of me liking The Cabin at the End of the World, I feel like it will get really good. Um, and so this one I think actually will be something different, especially because of it being about like exorcism. Um, so it's like different than the normal like haunted house type of book. I feel like a lot of them are always like haunted houses. So I feel like this would actually be a pretty good read if you continued on. Lastly, because it's getting pretty late, um, I'm gonna end this with The Winter People. Um, so since I liked the writing style of The Invited, I'm really hoping that I like the writing style of this, although it is gonna start in 1908, it looks like. Let's hope this isn't too historical fiction-ish. I really like Jennifer's writing style. Like, I was captivated pretty much right away. Um, this little girl sees like a dead person, a ghost, a sleeper, I think is what they're called in here. And she knows because this girl like died two weeks beforehand. Um, and then she's talking to her like auntie or whatever. Um, and I guess there's like this 
special way that you can bring back the dead or whatever. Um, and then that's where like the first chapter ends, but really, really liked this felt very like spooky and creepy, great vibes for this one. So out of all the books that I read, my least favorite is this one. I am taking this off of my TBR. I would never read this. It was too much of a crime thriller for me. And then I think next up would be hmm, this one also is just a little bit more into detail. I think I'll still keep this on my TBR, but maybe possibly for next year and for me to be more of in the mood for it. I feel like this is just something that's like too much detail for me at the moment and I don't want to read this at the moment. Then two that I'm like okay with were these two. I'm definitely keeping these on my TBRs because they were like, okay. This one I'm a little bit more interested in just because of it having like an exorcist and it's an adult horror novel, whereas this one is YA. And so I definitely feel like this one wouldn't go into as much depth. I feel like I would probably like A Head Full of Ghosts better, but these were both like actually pretty decent. They just weren't my favorites for today. And then my two favorites are by the same author. So I really liked both of these. Um, I'm actually, I think I would read this one. I think this one has been my most favorite of what I've read tonight. So this one, I actually think I'm going to push up on my TBR list and I probably won't be able to get to it in October, but I definitely want to read it fairly soon. And then this one I think is really, really great. And especially with it saying the winter people, I think I'm definitely going to read this within like December, January, February when it is wintry. I feel like this is great for that. And I actually own this copy. I bought it at the library for like $2 or something like that. Yeah, $2. So super excited about that. All right, so that was all of my horror reads for this part two of Tri Chapter. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I really, really do like doing these. And like I said before, I definitely am gonna do them like not just seasonally, but you know, reading the genres around the time that people read those genres. So like for instance, in, during Christmas, I already have a try a chapter tag planned out for Christmas books, which I'm really, really excited about. And then definitely for like February, I wanna do like a romance try a chapter tag for some of the new romances that are coming out. So I really, really like doing these types of videos. If you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up because it supports my channel. And I will see you all very, very soon in another video. Bye everyone.